Hello, welcome to this Tax Minute. Today is June 1st of 2022. Today is Wednesday. And the reason we're making this Tax Minute today is because there's three main deadlines that everybody has to take into account before you get penalized or you get your company dissolved. The deadlines are annual report for the state of Delaware. That's for LPs, LOPs, and limited liability companies. These two are limited partnerships and limited liability partnerships. The second one is the main LLP, which is the limited liability partnerships for me. And then the third one is for my Florida clients. Florida, you have to pay your tax uh, payments that are related to your real property holdings, the real property tax. If you do not make those payments on time, what's going to happen is that they're going to go out and they're going to sell a tax certificate. Today, as of today, is the day when they will start making those sales for the tax certificates. In other words, today is when you got to really start thinking about losing your property for not paying the real property tax. That's more important than anything, mortgage, anything, in my opinion. Those are the three deadlines taken into account. Annual reports, tax payments for real property uh, entities. Now, prison quarter. There's two cases that came out today that are related to tax that I want you to take into account so that it does not happen to you. Number one, tax preparers who promise excessive refunds. This is the story of two tax preparers. They worked as a partnership. Well, it turns out they came up with fake social security numbers. They issued fake forms 1099. For those who don't, who don't know, 1099s are the forms that actually tell people how much money you pay them. So fake 1099, fake social security number that entitles people to certain credits called the earned income tax credit. And what happened is that those credits, of course, were false. The refunds were false, but people still got them. And Mr. Ashton and Guyen, however you pronounce that, and Rosemary Ram, are gonna go to trial. They're gonna be brought on 10 counts of tax fraud and evasion. And if convicted next month in July, they're gonna go to 10 years of federal prison time, plus whatever amount of money the IRS wants to charge them for Ashton and Rosemary, eight years. So that's number one, be careful with accountants that promise refunds. Never do your taxes thinking of your refund. Think of compliance. That's uh, the thing that I offer you as advice here. Now, trust fund, that's the second case. If you have employees, the first payment you have to make always is the withholdings from the I, from uh, employment taxes to the IRS. If you do not pay the IRS first, what's going to happen is you as an individual, even though you're working for a company, you as an individual are gonna be held responsible for those payments if you have control of the funds. That's called trust for recovery penalty. Now, what should you do? Pay the IRS first and then the rest. In this particular case, what happened is that Mr. C Curtis Allen Perry, was fined three hundred and fifty-six thousand two hundred eighty dollars plus twelve hundred of restitution, whatever that means. That's not the problem. He's gonna pay. He's gonna spend one point five years in federal prison. He's already been convicted, eighteen months, and then he's gonna have to spend three years in supervised release. Now he's gonna be a criminal, a convict for the rest of his life, and all of that was because instead of paying the IRS first, he decided to pay all the creditors rather than the holdings that the withholdings that he did from him, from his employees. So. The moral of the story is pay the IRS first. That's it. I will see you in tax minute tomorrow.